how are you? I'm back with some videos and uh, I have this uh, meter, quantum meter, it's radioactive from SOAX, it has like two tubes inside for measuring uh, radioactive, radioactive radiation and I don't use it at all, so let's play some games today. I'm gonna measure nori leaves from Japan. It's uh, used for uh, su make f making for sushi. Then I go I'm gonna use one banana, uh, some Japanese kikoman sauce. So let's test if, if this, this is fatal. So let's just talk about these machines. It measures it measures uh, radiation in microsieverts per hour so right now we have like 0 0.2 microsieverts per hour so uh, per day we get like times let's say times uh, 24 so I don't know like that's like 5 microsieverts per day so I was just reading some stuff online and if you take a dental x-ray you get like 40 uh, microsieverts per uh, radiation and uh, if you take a mammogram it's like 3000 uh, microsieverts per immediate dose so basically usually we get um, here it's 0 0.22 it's like general radiation all over the world when there's not like some uh, radiation present and it says here radiation background normal 0 0.3 and it just measures all the time like from both sides I measure I bought this because I liked it better it's really small I had like this it, but it's Russian so uh, I read uh, the good things about it so um, yeah in my house here in the neighborhood it always shows 0 0.20 0 0.16, 15, 22 so that's none of concern you don't have to worry about this this is like minimal radiation you don't even notice so I read that if you get like 100,000 micro radiation uh, per year that is considered like you're like in a danger of getting cancer someday so mammogram is like uh, 3000 uh, microsieverts so we're getting like 5 microsieverts per day uh, so that's like 5 times 365 it's like uh, 1500 microsieverts per year so that's nothing so the danger is around uh, one uh, hundred thousand and if you get like two million microsieverts then you're probably dead so I just read about that just now on the internet and if you fly uh, with a plane you get like 40 microsieverts per day so like that's just like a it's not so bad and I thought that getting a, like x-ray for the dental x-ray it's very dangerous it's like just like like I said before it's like 40 microsieverts so that's really fucking low so let's just measure some stuff it's it's it jumps like from 18 16 to 22 24 the max was 25 before when I had like soy sauce here but so let's see like now it's 17 let's let's just try with soy sauce it's Japanese soy sauce let's just put it here what's gonna happen And it's measuring and it's like giving like feedback just almost immediately. It's even getting lower. So like they say in Japan now there I just read I just heard like in the news today that the radiation around Fukushima like in other towns it's like really fucking low. So I don't know if they're like trying just trying to uh that the radiation in all, all these towns went back to normal so probably there are like some videos about that that dispute that uh, claim but maybe they just try to uh, make people not panic but Japanese people are always like uh, what you tell them they were gonna think so like they are really uh, oppressed I think from their government and from the culture so 
they don't give a damn about this radiation and uh, so there's no changes with this uh, let's put let's change it with nori nori leaves I use this stuff I eat a lot so I mean not a lot but I make uh, vegan sushi like once per week so I use two leaves uh, and there's like uh, there's no changes here. Like when you would when there would be like radiation, it would go really high up. Like just from zero sixteen to zero twenty four, there's no changes. It's just environment uh, radiation going up and down. So we have like z even going back down before it raised. When I put like a soy sauce like this, it went up to twenty five. But that's nothing. That could be like environment um, radiation pollution. Uh, so, or maybe I should put it besides, so it's going up right now, 21, but that's nothing, I mean, if it, if it would be like, uh, one microsievert or something like that, even that would be like, but eating that, that would be like, I don't know, like, like 10 microsieverts, that would be like concerning, uh, that would be scary to eat this nor if it would have like 10 microsieverts or something like that the next video I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go uh, to the regular supermarket and just test this stuff out so let's uh, remove this there's no changes and just put like banana uh, banana there's nothing there's no changes so probably they measure this stuff uh, before they import it in Europe so they don't want like uh, make people sick with uh, radiation radiated food or something and I guess uh, the I, I, I think they have to do this like what is the uh, production date it's probably made this year or something it cannot be old older than the Fukushima explosion so I think uh, the food from Japan I think it's it must be like it's probably tested if you eat it uh, in Europe, I don't know how about Asia, maybe they have a lot more food from Japan there, especially in Japan, so maybe you should buy a meter or something like that, like I have it and measure stuff, so there's no changes whatsoever, so I just, my conclusion is like these Japanese food from uh, uh, in Europe, from Japan, it's not dangerous, there's nothing going on. So, yeah. And comment I me. Mean, I have like uh, new meters for uh, high frequency field. Just comment and like video and tell me what to measure next. And I'm, I'm going to do it. I, I have no problem of doing that. So just write comments in YouTube and subscribe. And I'm going to do everything I can just to measure stuff. I mean, I left the channel alone for a few years. I don't know, and I'm getting back. Uh, so I need to get some views also. I mean, YouTube pays you like for nothing. I mean, for having like a hobby like this and if you have good views, but uh, you know. So uh, thank you very much and subscribe and like and comment. Thank you very much.